I don't want crackers. I want something better than crackers, but what do I got? A wooden spoon for a wand? That's nah, wood. Maybe it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I want popcorn. That sounds good. Now we're cooking with gas. That'll work. All right, let's get into making this real quick video on changing the cracker box into the popcorn box. All right, I'll go ahead and bring the video down into my timeline, create the timeline. Let me zoom this out a little bit so we can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the audio file. I don't need it. So I'm just going to cut it out. Now what I did is I just made one continuous film right here. This is at the beginning where I'm just looking for something to use. Don't want the crackers. Grab the spoon. Tap the box. Do the hooray. I got it. And at this point I just kind of let the camera roll and then I changed out the boxes. Let it roll a little bit more and then I'll cut it down here in just a minute. Now what I'm going to do is slowly scroll back here and if you'll notice right here let me scroll in here and what I'm doing at this point is I'm just using the wheel on my mouse to scroll into it. If I hold down the control key it goes up and down. If I hold the alt key it will go left and right. But right here I put a piece of tape on the counter with a mark on it so I know the angle and location of where I want to put the popcorn box. So that way when I put the popcorn box down it's in the exact spot and at the right angle so it matches what the cracker box is at. That just makes it film better and look more transparent. It also keeps the shadows the same. So let me go ahead and get this back to normal. And now what I want to do is I want to find the point of where the spoon taps the box. And that's where I'm going to cut it. Okay. Now I'm going to use the arrow key on my keyboard and just back up right where the spoon taps the box. Right there. And at this point I'm going to use my slicing tool and I'm just going to cut the film at that point. Go back to my selection. And now I want to just grab the popcorn box. And I'm going to switch it out here and then that's where I'm going to pick it up. And that should be good. Now I, I stood there and just looked at it for a little bit. That way I wanted to make sure that the shadows were consistent throughout the rest of the shot. If I would have just placed it there and then walked off, there might have been some difference in the shadows and I didn't want that to occur. So that's why I just kind of stood there a little bit. Now I'm going to go in here and grab my slicing tool again and I'm going to cut it at that point. I'm going to turn on my uh, snapping tool. And I'm going to take this timeline, put it right there. And then I'm going to grab this piece that I just cut with the popcorn box and drag it into place right there. Now if I play this, you can see where I tap it and it changes to the popcorn box, but I'm still standing there. So what I'm going to do is mask out that box, the uh, cracker box now. So let's put the timeline marker right there. And now we're going to go down to our color tab. And at this point what we're going to do is, I've already zoomed in on this, we're going to actually mask this out. And to do that, we're going to come over here and we're going to create another node. And to do that, I just press the Alt S key and it creates a second node. That way anything that I do is going to be done in this second node, leaving the first node in its pure form if I want to go back to it. I'm going to go down here and select Power Windows. And then I'm going to go down here and select uh, this shape one. And at this point, I'm just going to draw a shape around this box. Now since the cracker box was a little bit taller than the popcorn box, I'm going to make this just a little bit taller just to make sure that I do incorporate how tall that cracker box was. Also coming down here, I want to make sure that I get the shadows that might be a little bit different with the popcorn than it was with the crackers. So that's why I'm kind of making that wide berth around it. And there we have it. Now what I want to do is go over here and right click in this area here and I want to create the alpha output and then I'm going to just drag and connect these two blue lines together. Now when I go over to the edit tab you will notice that as I tap on it it will replace the club box with the popcorn box. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now if you notice at that point right here 
it kind of cut my spoon off a little bit. That's because of the way that I drew the outline of the shape in the mass node. I can adjust that down so that it fine tunes it. All I've got to do is just come back over to the color tab and I can kind of pull this down a little bit. Now see there's the cracker box starting to come through so I've got to be real careful about that and you can really fine tune this and it's going to happen so quickly that you're really not going to see that in the long run and there we have it we now have popcorn instead of crackers that's exactly what we're looking for and then you just kind of let this run a little bit and I'm going to you know give the thumbs up and I'm going to stop it right there and go ahead and cut this right here and I'll cut the bottom one go back to my selection hold my mouse button down and I'm just going to cut both, all this out. Now I'm also going to do just to kind of dress it up a little bit. I'm going to put a swoosh so it makes that sound when I uh, tap the box. I'm going to blow this up just a little bit so I can see it better. I do have a sound clip. Bring this down here and drag it over. Put my marker right where they match. And if you notice with my sound clip, right where it spikes right here, that's where I want the spoon. So I'm going to take turn off the uh, snapping tool and I'm going to drag this right so that that spike is right where the spoon hits. Now when I play it you'll have the swoosh. There you go. That's all there is to it. And I got this uh, sound off a free website and I'll be sure to put that in the links below. And that's how quick it was easy to do this little magic trick. Had a lot of fun with it when I first saw it. Uh, I said oh I gotta try that. And you can dress it up, smooth it out, do a little bit more shadows. I live full time in my camper, my RV, so uh, I did with what I had. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.